Hi everyone, I wanted to make a video about this regular expressions challenge that I had a lot of problems with and um, I'm gonna get started so we got these four rules the first one is I'm gonna go sort of one by one so the first one usernames can only use alphanumeric characters that means <clears throat> if we were going to do just rule number one, I think it would be something like A to Z um, plus. So that would mean we'd have to have at least one A to Z, and then we can put the uh, I in here for um, ignore case. So, the second requirement is the only numbers have to be at the end. So, uh, I want to say something first before we keep going, is when I was first doing this, I thought that, uh, I thought that the way to go was to, to use the regular expressions to identify symbols that shouldn't be in the in the um, in the username like a like an exclamation point or something and I figured after looking at the answer and solving it myself I realized that this is actually um, I don't know if you even can do it that way but this is seem to be like a more easier way to do it at least so if we make a regular expression that can match just all the correct characters in here that that will mean that um, we'll have we'll have a regular expression that will check if you know the beginning of it is letters the end of it is numbers and uh, to check that only the end of those numbers, we can do that by having the regular expression check for for these things instead of for what uh, isn't supposed to be there. And it can check so that only what is supposed to be there is there. So then for number two, the only numbers in the username have to be at the end. So, if we would uh, use the backslash D, this gives us a one digit at the end, and since digits are optional, zero or more, we put the star in there. So now we have A to Z, um, one or more letters in the, in the beginning, and zero or more numbers at the end. Okay. Uh, oh, but we haven't used our beginning and end um, symbols yet. So this is something else that I wasn't super clear on. Actually, I didn't realize this at all when I was going through the challenges, but the caret, they, they told us that the caret um, checks for something at the beginning and then uh, the dollar sign checks for something at the end and uh, what they didn't really say but that I found with some research was that the caret and the dollar sign mark the beginning and the end of a string when they're used together so everything in between these it seems like is the only thing that can be checked in the regular expression so I guess that is why it works in the way that I wasn't expecting where I thought it, you have to search for what uh, is not supposed to be there and if, it, if what's not supposed to be there is there. Instead with this we are 
searching for everything within the regular expression. We specify exactly what's going to be at the beginning and what's going to be at the end. And uh, we're not going to be able to have anything in between. All that's going to be valid is this, some combination of stuff in here. Um, I'm not sure if that was confusing. It might have been confusing. But I was trying to relay some of my confusion or the problems I had to somebody else who might be having the same problems. So what have we done now? The only u numbers have to be at the end, zero or more, okay. And now let's see, letter, lowercase and uppercase, all right. And then I think this might be the tricky one is usernames have to be at least two characters long. Okay, so right now we have, um, we have an uh, A to Z one or more here, but then uh, we got digits can be zero or more. So actually, something that would be possible here would be to to give an uh, the number or just the letter A that would that would be valid for this regular expression because it would take um, one or more of A and zero or more numbers so just a single letter would work here which we don't want we want it to be at least two letters and then if it's going to be a we want it to be two letters if it's going to be a two character username and then if it's going to be more than two letters then we can have a number at the end but we can't also another problem with this one is that we can't have one letter and one number, which this allows us to do also. If we, we could have J and uh, 7, and that would be one number, or we'll do one letter and one number, and we don't want that either. So um, we can take this and uh, just so that we can all see, here's my previous working on this. Let's put it in here just so we can have a test and uh, like if we try A7 or A1 steak sauce and uh, we have to let's put this in the console So we put this in the console. We want to see if uh, I think we can match the the username with the user check. Let's see here. User name dot. See what that gives us. <laughs> okay. So it matches A1. Let's see if it doesn't match anything. Like it shouldn't match a blank, right? Okay. Or a space. Or an exclamation point. Or an exclamation point with letters. Okay. Um, and then I guess we can also, let's also put this test in the console just to see what it does. check returns true or false that's what that does and so we get either um, true if the regular expression is satisfied and false if it's not so um, 
and then this one tells us what characters were, were matched. So, now what we didn't want was, was A1 to work. And also the problem was that single characters were going to work here. So to fix this, I think we got to use an, an or statement. So uh, I'm going to do this sort of the long way first and then simplify it. So here we have Let's take the or away for now. Here we have a to z plus um, zero or more digits. So this should really be at least two a to z's. So we got two a to z's, zero or more digits. That should, uh, and why don't we why don't we um, just do this on a new line so we can see the changes we've made as we're going along. That's what I was doing when I was solving it for the first time. I think this was pretty helpful to just keep doing it on, on new lines so I don't erase the changes that I've been making. So now we got uh, Right, we want to add an, another A to Z here. Okay. And uh, so it should only run the second user check now because it's, you know, the code is running in descending order and um, we've defined it for a second time here. So this one, this time now we should get a um, false. Um, for A, and we should get a true for double A, okay, and like like we saw before, if we have, um, if we comment that one out and we use the first one, A returns as true, which we don't want, so that's why we created this second one, where it doesn't allow A to slip through. So that solved one of the problems. Um, I think another one of the problems was, oh yes, so now another one of the problems is that, um, oh wait, no, wait a minute. Uh, yes, so we want to be able to have a number or a letter and, and two numbers like that, you know, um, as a username, because if the username is three digits or more, we should uh, we should be able to have that. That should be valid. So, it, it, but it doesn't work here because this requires us to only have two two numbers two letters in the front so this is where our or statement can come in so we got well, let's start with our beginning and end so in the beginning we got a to z and then uh, that would be so in this case we're, we're trying to, to do it for for just uh, one letter at the beginning and then two or more numbers. So in this case we we add another D and then another D at the end there with a plus. This will give us two or more numbers at, at the end after. Um, oh and let's let's do what we were doing before. And uh, I'm gonna copy this and but I'm gonna revert back to the the original uh, So that was our last answer. And then for this one, our problem was that we need to be able to
There we go. So, and this is our solution to that. So we got our first username uh, with two letters and zero more numbers, or we can have a username with one letter and then two or more numbers. So, let's try it out then. Uh, we'll put this in. Um, Okay, so now it works. And um, I think there was another thing. Let's make sure that we can't have a number in the middle of the username. Okay, so that's that's not working, which is good. And um, let's take a look at our requirements again. The only, okay, usernames are only alphanumeric, numbers at the end, uh, lowercase and uppercase, at least two characters long, a two character username can use only alphabet letters. Okay, well, I don't know, I think there's something else that we need to fix here, but I can't see what it is. So I'm going to put this into the answer and let's try that oh it works okay all right well not bad okay so that worked that's good and now we can shorten this uh, regular expression as a bonus just to um, Let's go back in here. We can shorten it just to remove some redundancy. Like we have these A and Z appear twice and the dollar signs appear twice. I don't think we need that. We can, let's go mark this one as correct. And then let's use this uh, again here, but let's re redefine it. So. We got, uh, I'm going to put a second one right over so it's easier to see it. So, easier to see the changes we make. So, I'm going to I want to put uh, something I, I saw from looking at the answer and from Checking on the internet is you can group stuff into parentheses. So if we we should we should be able to group something here into parentheses. We can group. Um, let's try grouping out everything except for the first the first. Uh, A to Z there. And so that means that uh, this the 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 regular expression following the first carotid A to Z is included and then we can take out the second one here since it's right next in front of our or statement after our or statement. And then we should have uh, a to Z at the start, and then these items at the end. And I, I think the dollar sign should work inside the parentheses, but I think we can even take them outside. But let's just run this here to do a quick check. And that works too. All right, so that worked as well. Now. We can move the dollar sign outside of the regular expression. Let's go back and do it over here, just so we can see the differences easier. So if we put that one 
here, let's move the dollar sign outside. We don't need to have it double in here. So in this case, we get a letter in the beginning, no matter what. And then we get um, either, since we got an or here, we get either another letter, one or more, and then zero or more numbers. So, so this could be A, A, zero numbers, A, B, one, one number, uh, and so on. And the other option is we get A to Z here. We get one letter, two or more numbers, and that would give us a three character username with um, three or more characters with uh, numbers at the end. So let's try that one. All we did was move the dollar sign out, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's paste it in here. Oh, everything broke. Why did that happen? Okay, what if we put it back in? No, okay, why is... Didn't it just work a second ago? What happened? I don't know if I copied the correct thing last time. Oh, it's because I didn't... I'm, I'm not putting the entire... Oops. I'm not putting let in front of the user check. That's why it's not working. So, let's try again like that. Okay, there we go. So, now we know a couple of ways to do this solution. And also... You know, there uh, there might be other ways to solve this that don't look exactly like this. I know there was on the internet, so, but, um, if you struggled like me on this challenge, hopefully this video was helpful. So good luck for the rest of your free code camp, and have a good day. Bye!